guys. So I thought I would do this video. So first of all, I set myself a challenge to spend no more than £10 and go into the local game stores, so Game and CEX for this area that I'm in at the moment, as well as Toys R Us, and see if there is any second-hand, basically pre-owned PSP games that are actually worth picking up for obviously the total amount of no more than a tenner and see how many that I could purchase that as said are worthwhile picking up as well as obviously show some recommendations to you guys for the ones I have managed to pick up and see how far I got. So first of all things to know is that I managed to get five games. I didn't actually spend my total because I didn't want to just buy rubbish games to top up to a 10, 10 pounds altogether i believe i spent seven pound 25 so for five games that's really not that bad um obviously they range in the sense of um there are three that i have played and two that i haven't but from what i know of them and obviously what i've looked at through them as well these ones i believe are definitely worth picking up two are platinums and three are just normal games um, but when it comes to the PSP it's a console that I really enjoy collecting for and at the moment their games are very cheap just like the games for the Wii and DS and I would highly recommend if there are ones that you really enjoy collecting them basically now rather than later because sorry collecting them though now rather than later because some of them are going to be quite hard to find in the future that's just my what I believe I might be wrong I don't know but so all of these actually came from CEX game didn't have any they had four PSP games which were all football or Tiger Woods obviously I was going for good games <laughs> And Toys R Us only had one, which was Crank's Adventure. I think, I can't remember his name. The little robot, Ratchet and Clank kind of thing. But yeah, Agent Clank, that's the one. But it was 9 99 brand new. And one, that took up all my budget. And two, if I wanted to get that game, which I do already have in my collection, I could have paid £2 for it at CEX for a pre-owned copy. So, these all came with the manuals, which preferably I prefer, but obviously you do have to take that into consideration when you're buying a second-hand game. Some of these don't come with, wouldn't have, some games you buy won't come with everything, so definitely take that into consideration. So, this game is called Crush. I, pay, I paid £1.50 for this game. It is made by Sega, and it is a one-player game. It's basically kind of a platformer and it's supposed to be Danny's head is one twisted place and it's up to you to get it straight. In this wonderful surreal world of puzzles you must manipulate the landscape of Danny's dreams from 2D to 3D and back again to conjure his nightmares, conquer his nightmares and overcome seemingly impossible obstacles. But be warned, once you've stepped into Danny's subconscious, you will never look at the world in the same way again. So it's basically, you have to move things, move the blocks to see if you can kind of, obviously, so you can get higher up in the level and stuff like that. I have played this one before and it is a good game to be honest um it's definitely something that will keep you busy i'll see if i get some clip obviously some pictures next to me for it it did come with the guide and obviously personally i will be taking the sticker off safely later on but all in all for one pound fifty it's definitely worth a pick up so i'll leave that one there the next one i managed to get for £1.50 again was KO Challengers, which is this one. I've never actually played this one before, but it piqued my interest. Um, it is one player again, 
You can play two to four players with this as well. So it does have the multiplayer option, which is quite good. Um, this said, obviously this is what I've read, was KO Challengers is a great combination of action and platforming, featuring a great single player game alongside a multiplayer experience which makes spectacular use of the wireless technology of the PSP. So obviously it's got quite a few different things, I'll show you some pictures next to me as well, but for £1.50 it's great, it came with the guide as well which I actually love guides, I hate the fact they're gradually getting knocked out. Um, the little kangaroo in it is what kind of sold it to me, mainly reason being it reminded me of a really old PC game that was horrendous on the 98 computers that I used to play when I was a kid. I can't even remember the name of it, but you collected stuff. Um, but either way, this is 7 plus and it's actually, it looks pretty good to be honest. Um, what I've read about it definitely looks like it's worth a pick up. So the next one we picked up was Prince of Persia Rival Swords. This is a platinum game. Excuse me. Um, I managed to pick it up for £1.50. It's one player but wireless compatibility one to two players. Personally, I really enjoy the Prince of Persia series. I haven't played this on the PSP, but I have played this on, I believe, the PlayStation 2 when it was out. So I've got quite a few of those games as well. It did come with the guide, which is quite nice to look through. Obviously, it tells you all the bits and bobs and the very many button combinations. But once you get used to it, it's not too bad. As I've said, I've played and really enjoy the Prince of Persia series. Um, and some of the original games, like these ones, are the best to play for the experience. So I would highly recommend this. Um, and again, for £1.50, you can't really go wrong. The next one we managed to get was Luminaire's Puzzles Fusion, if I've said that correctly. Um, this one actually was 75 so this one's really good this has a genre of different puzzle games on it it is a platinum version game again so it shows that it was incredibly popular it's one to two players as well as one to two players wirelessly as well and um, for the looks of it it's got instructions in English French Spanish and I can't Italian so it's obviously gone quite through a few different countries so it must have been popular it does come with the guidebook as well this one so it's not too bad and again as I said for 75p I need to give the case a little bit of a clean but it's definitely worth a pick up this is basically quite a few games all in one and will keep you entertained for quite a while so I would really recommend this one and the last one we actually managed to get was the most expensive one that I picked up out of all of this, <laughs> which is an exclusive to PSP one. And this includes four newly enhanced titles on this one. So this is Taito Legends Power Up. So this is this cost me two pounds and is this one. So this has many old retro games on it. It is one to two players and has game sharing capability. So these have quite a lot of what I would consider the best way to explain it. It's like the old Atari games on it. It is, um, again, they've got quite a few games on here. So on the back it just mentions a few. So you've got Space Invaders, Space Invaders 2, New Zealand Story, which again has been re-released on the 2DS. You've got Alpine Ski, Elevator Action, Crazy Balloon. Oh, you've got Balloon Bomber, Space Dungeon, Space Chaser. So you've got quite a few, obviously, other ones. Obviously, it says here, plus four enhanced exclusive titles, Balloon Bomber, Crazy Bomber, <laughs> Camel, Try, and Legend of Cage. So this one is definitely one I would recommend picking up. Um, these ones are always good, especially if you're going on road trips and stuff like that, because it has many games all in one. Um, it did come with 
the guidebook again, which I prefer. It also looks like it came with just one of those things, which is just like, don't forget all these other little add-ons, doodaddy bits that you might want, probably will never buy. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. As I said, it's got so many games on and will keep you entertained for ages. So I'm going to put that one there. So I'm going to lean forward. These are the five games that I managed to pick up for under £10. My budget was £10, as I said in the beginning, but I didn't want to go up to £10 with some more rubbisher games. So I picked the five best games that are in the local CEX that I was in. As I said, I did check Game and Toys R Us as well, but these are some really good options, especially if you want to pick up some cheap games and you're not sure what PSP games to go for. As I've said, I would definitely recommend this one and this one. They are awesome and this one and this one and this one. I have played this one before, but these three, again, are good pickups just as much. Uh, pick up. <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below are there any PSP games that you would really recommend? Um, are you collecting for the PSP? Obviously, I know only a couple or handful of people that are, so if you are, let me know down below. But don't forget as well, just if you want to say hi, to leave a comment down below as well. But thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys on my next video.